Okay, so we're recombining reactions to make a new reaction again. This is the application of Hess's law. We are supposed to make this and figure out it's delta H, and we're given these reactions to work with. Um, I'm just going to label these 1 and 2 before we go on. This is reaction 1. That can be reaction 2. So when I talk about them, I don't have to point so much. And what do we need here? We need an NO on the left side. Reaction 1 is the only one that has NO in it, but it must be flipped. We don't need to multiply it by anything, we just need to flip it. So I'm going to say we have minus equation 1, the flipped version of equation 1, and that is, I should be saying reaction 1, sorry, that is NO converts to half a nitrogen and half an oxygen. And when we do that, we get the reversed delta H. When you flip a reaction, you also flip its delta H. So now this is minus 90.5. And what next? That gets us the NO. Uh, oxygen, coming from both reactions, you could probably figure this out from the oxygen by, if you like working with fractions, but let's pretend that we don't and just jump on to the next one. We want our reaction to have NO2 on the right side, and the only place to get NO2 is from reaction 2 unchanged. We don't have to flip it or multiply it by anything to get one mole of NO2. So this one is a little dull. We just recopy it half an N2 plus an O2 arrow, and then we get an O2. And because we didn't change the reaction, we don't change its delta H either. 33.9 kilojoules. So now if we add these together, I'm just kind of trusting that the oxygen will work out. Since we don't have any more reactions to work with, we had to get the NO, we had to get the NO2, so for the oxygen we just cross our fingers. Uh, what happens when we add these together? Well, you can see the half nitrogens are going to cancel. Those will be spectators. And for the oxygen, well, we've got a whole oxygen on the left and half an oxygen on the right. We can cancel half an oxygen. This disappears completely. Gone. On the left side, we had a full oxygen and we just lost half of it, so we only have half left down to half a mole of oxygen, which is, happily, exactly what this product or this finished reaction is supposed to have. So it did work out. We have NO on the left, and we have half an oxygen molecule, and that converts to nitrogen dioxide. And the delta H, when you add two reactions together, you add their delta H's together. So we get, uh, let's see, minus 90.5, 60.5, 57.5, 56.6. Delta H should be minus 56.6 kilojoules.